what is going on guys in this video we are going to learn everything about navigation in jetpack compose so if you want to go from one screen to another screen in jetpack compose we require navigation also if you want to pass any values from one screen and get those values as arguments in another screen we need navigation so without any do let's learn about navigation in jetpack compose with new android studio project click on new project select empty activity that is jetpack compose activity click on next let's give the application name learn navigation select minimum sdk 8.0 build configuration language let it be recommended one click on finish so our project is created first thing what we will do we will run the application so that we will get to know either it is created correctly or not we can see the hello world that means it is created correctly let's get back to the project let's say hello to this hello world and delete it let's delete these things also so we will create a use case let's say we have a screen a and we have a screen B. We want to navigate from screen A to screen B. So let's create two screens. So for that, I will go to new Kotlin file. Let's say this is screen A. Create another Kotlin file. Let's say this is screen B. Here in screen A, I will create a composable function. Let's say screen A. Let's annotate it with composable. And here I will make minimum design. Let's add column. In column I will add a text that will be screen A and I will add a button simple on click let it be for now and button text will be go to screen B that's it so in main activity here if I give the set content as screen A and run the application you can see we have a screen A go to a screen B button I want to make it center so let's go to screen A in column I will add a modifier first modifier dot fill max size and horizontal alignment as alignment dot center horizontally and vertical arrangement as center in this way if I run now it is center we have a screen A and go to screen B same way I will design for a screen B as well I will copy everything from here go to screen B paste it let's name it screen B text will be screen B and I don't need button so let's remove this now we have a screen A and a screen B if you go to main activity and give this set content as a screen B if I run it you can see screen B but the thing is from screen A I want to go to screen B I want to navigate from one composable to another composable in main activity I will give a screen A now I want to go to screen B how we can do that so for that we have navigation library in jetpack compose we'll use that let's go to Google and search for navigation dependency jetpack compose go to this first link Android developers one you can read the documentation over here we need this dependency so let's select Kotlin and copy this dependency and version so I'll copy this go to our project app level build at gradle in the dependencies I'll paste it so we have version and we have the library let's click on sync now close this now we have added the library for the navigation we will use them so two things we need is nav host and nav host controller so nav host will host all the screens in our application and nav host controller we will use it to navigate from one screen to another screen so here what we will do instead of screen a and screen v first thing I will create a variable nav controller from where we will initialize it we have remember nav controller if you see remember nav controller it will return nav host controller this we require so from this controller we can navigate to any screen but how we can navigate from one screen to another screen for hosting the navigation we have nav host so here nav host we can see we have these constructors where it will take nav host controller and start destination click on it so for nav controller I will pass nav controller this one start destination let pass empty string for now and builder we have to pass nav graph builder so here we will store the information so as you can see we have nav controller and start destination so what is this start destination so when you come to main activity we have set content it took the navigation host so in this start destination we have to give either screen a either screen b or any other screen so how we can do that it takes the string let's say screen a how it will recognize that screen A means screen A we can write anything here is it tuto how it will recognize this refer to which screen so for that let's write first screen screen underscore A 
so here in this nav graph builder we have to assign this screen a to this screen a that means if the start destination is screen a we have to show the screen a so how we will do that here you have to make a composable entry so composable we have to pass the route so what is the route that is destination that is screen a and second thing it takes is content so what is the content that is screen a that's it so we are passing composable and we are passing route screen a means this screen so if you click over here it will go to this screen that means it is composable with this route we'll get to know this refers to this screen if you copy this and paste it below for screen b if you write here screen b screen b refers to screen b that means this route refers to this composable that means when main activity will, will search for start destination that is screen a it will find over here where is screen a here is screen a that means we have to open screen a if you pass here start destination as screen b it will show screen b that is the case if i run now you can see we have screen a that means start destination is screen a now this doesn't solve our problem yet we want to go from screen a to screen b so how we can go on click of this we have to go how we can do that with this nav controller so this nav controller we have to pass it on every screen here we are initializing it this nav controller will pass it in screen a so that it will use this so here what i will do i will just pass nav controller also you can see here is error because in screen a we are not taking anything in this parameter so what i will do i will create nav controller and i will take the parameter of nav controller type now if you see over here we have passed this nav controller over here in a we can access from anywhere so we will access it from button in button what i will do nav controller dot you can see lots of method over here you can see it takes resource id deep link direction lots of things route so what we have to pass is route so here i will click it and we will pass a route what is the route you can see over here we have defined the route as screen b for this screen b if i write here screen underscore b that means on click of this button we are going to screen b so here it will check what is the value of this screen b so you can see this is the composable screen b it will open this screen if i run now now i will click on go to screen b you can see screen b is opened if i click on back we are back to screen a if i click on screen b screen b is visible that means it solved our problems we can navigate from screen a to screen b easily because it knows that screen underscore b means this jetpack composable you can give any name over here one bad writing if you see over here we are writing here screen a here also screen a here screen underscore b and here also we are writing screen underscore b that is hard coded it is not a good practice if let's say here i have given the route name as screen screen b only like this and here we are calling screen underscore b so this will cause the error if you run this if i click on this app crashed that means it doesn't know what is this screen b so instead of hard coding this what we will do we'll create a new file let's name it routes and let's make it a singleton with this object and here we'll define all the routes so let's say a variable screen a equals to screen underscore a variable screen b equals to screen underscore b so we'll not write this string everywhere we'll just call this routes dot screen a so here if you go over here start destination let's replace it with routes dot screen a this will be the start destination so here defining the composable routes will be routes dot screen a here it will be routes dot screen b and also in screen a here we are navigating that means routes dot screen b now it won't be mistake if you change over here also let's say if you change over here it will change everywhere there will be no mistake if i click on this we'll still go to screen b because we have defined it at one place we are using the variables let's keep it as it is now we know how to navigate from one screen to another screen another use case can be if we want to send some data if we want to send some argument from screen a to screen b let's say we are inputting a name over here and we want to pass it to screen b so how we can do that so for that we will send the arguments so let's go to main activity again so for that what we can do over here let's make a screen b as it will take some name let's say name string so this is the mandatory field we have to pass name in screen b and it will show screen b 
and name is dollar name let's say screen b will take the name so in main activity if i pass over here let's say john if i run click on this and the name is john from this nav host we can pass the value but how we will pass from screen a let's say we take input from user in screen a and pass to the screen b how we can do that so here in navigate we have like we pass in any url by giving slash and the value we can do like that let's say here i will pass i will concat it with slash any value so let's say john so from screen a i am passing john that is the argument that is the name i am passing to this nav controller i am passing as a data go to main activity here we have to receive that data so how we can receive that in screen b let's define this screen b as it should take the data every time so how we can get the data here i will concat slash curly braces and inside that whatever the variable name let's say name so we define the route b slash whatever the value every time we call from screen a route b slash the value actual value now here we cannot pass directly name if you see we don't have the variable this is defined over here it will come in the argument so you can see over here we have nav back stack entry inside that we have arguments it dot arguments dot get a string and the key will be name in this way it will store value in name let's say the same way we used to pass arguments in one activity to another activity here we have to pass in the route and we will get in the arguments now we got the name variable instead of this john we can pass name over here so it is nullable what we can do either name or and no name at let's say if you don't pass anything it will show no name now if you see over here a doesn't require any arguments b require the arguments that is slash name so from screen a we can pass the name as slash john if i run it now go to screen b you can see the name is john that is being passed from screen a if you see over here in screen a if i change it to tom run it click over here the name is tom so in this way with the help of nav host and nav controller we can navigate from any screen to any screen also we can pass the argument like this so if you see over here it is not looking good in main activity instead of that what you can do you can create a new kotlin class file let's give this name as my app navigation and here i will create a function my app navigation i will give it as a composable and from main activity i will cut this out and paste it over here so it will handle all the navigation and in main activity i will just pass my app navigation so the flow you need to understand in main activity we have this my app navigation if you go to my app navigation here start destination is screen a from screen a we are going to screen b also we are passing the value if you run now from screen a go to screen b and value is being passed in this way you can implement navigation in jetpack compose so if you enjoyed this video if you learned something from this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye